It's Darren from Grills Plants. It's a video for first time growers of tomato plants or for those that are unsure, best tips and ideas for growing tomatoes. So what we've done with this one is where the furry piece is at the bottom, you can see a little where a leaf was there and there was a leaf the other side and there was a leaf halfway up and we've taken those leaves off. Because when we plant this into the ground now, we're going to plant it just up to this point here. So this leaf, which is now showing, um, will be just above the soil. The reason we do this is because this piece here, um, within a month, will turn into, under the ground, will turn into feeder roots. The feeder roots you'll be able to see along the surface of the compost on the soil. And that is what, when you feed your tomatoes on a weekly basis, that's what you need. You need those roots, those feeder roots, close to the surface so they get the feed quite well. This is an essential, but this is what we are going to use. This is seaweed meal, so it's like a dried, crushed seaweed. And we give a sprinkle of that over the soil um, around where we're going to plant the tomato. Just a little bit, like so. You could also use um, blood fish and bone or grow more. Um, or no feed, you can do a no feed as well. We just give it a little bit of feed just to get the plant going really. So we dug our hole, remembering that you want the plant to be nice and deep, and then we pop the plant in. As you can see, when we refill this hole, the compost is going to be up to that kind of level, and that's what we need. There he is. Now we're going to tie it into the bamboo loosely. As you can see, compost up to that leaf level. Fair enough to amount of planting. And now let's tie in. There we are, tied in. So as it grows taller at the bamboo, just keep tying it in loosely because we don't want to strangle the plant. When we started selling um, tomato plants, sorry, growing tomato plants, should I say, about 10, 15 years ago, um, YouTube was in its infancy and so was the internet, I guess, 15 years ago. And you couldn't really get when people said to you, make sure you make sure you pinch out the side shoots. Which is the side shoot? Is it this? Is it this one here? Or is it this one here? So because of the we're in a place now in the world where we can actually do this, we can actually show you. So this is the main leaf. And this here, little one growing here, is side shoot. And if I leave it, it'll get as big as the other one. But what that will do is if you leave it in there, it will take a lot of the nutrients away from growing flowers and then fruit um, and putting it all into growth of the plant. We don't need that. So we just go in, gently pinch it out. There it is. Now he may regrow. If I've left a tiny bit there, it may regrow just do this once a week, go around, pull your side shoots out. If I go up a bit further, you can see a tiny one there. Just maybe. Yeah, he's so tiny. We can't really get to it yet. Maybe we'll leave that one until another week. So remember, that's what they talk about when they talk about side shoots. That's the side shoots. So, tomatoes are in. We've put three in. We had four plants in last year. The four plants that we had last year gave us 14 kilos of tomatoes in a greenhouse. And we fed them once a week with our own natural feeds. We make a comfrey feed and we also make a feed from our wormery. But if you've not got that kind of facility, that's fine. You can just use it like a tomato right feed or you could actually use a shop own brand of the same kind of thing. They say feed once a fortnight, I feed once a week, and that's why we had 14 kilos of tomatoes last year out of four tomato plants. So this year we've gone down to three, because um, 14 kilos is way too many. So, this variety is called Sweet Million. If you bought Sweet Million from us, it's middle of May. It's okay now to plant these up in your greenhouse. If you are going to grow them outside, I would leave them to the end of May. 
um, before you plant them out end of May in a big pot I would suggest take them out by day bring them back in at night do that for a couple of days and then a couple of days of leaving them out night and day know that they've acclimatized to being outside and then pop them up in your pots there we are tomatoes